Hallelujah. Amen. Good morning, church. God bless you. I want to thank God for my family, for his blessings. It was uh, around the 27th of June. Yes. Yeah, during my defense, my younger sister came. She left from Douala to Bamenda. So she came, she attended my defense, and on Sunday we, we came to church. She worshipped her. Yeah, yes. Yes. It was That Sunday that rain was falling. Where about me, Joel, Pastor Ken, and her that yeah. Sunday. So when she came down, after the service, Pastor Ken talked with her and canceled her on certain things. Then Pastor Ken prayed for her. Before praying for her, Pastor Ken asked her that, when she, what does she intend to do? She said she wanted to, because before, as and my mom passed away, she, she was staying with my auntie, and my auntie was sponsoring her to learn deco. Mm -hmm. So it was not up to a year that my auntie died. When my auntie died now, she relocated to Douala. Mm -hmm. She could not continue because there was no one to sponsor her again. Mm -hmm. So when Pastor Ken asked her that question, she said she either wants to continue with the deco or go back, go back to school. Pastor Ken said, okay, with what she's doing now, let her just continue there. But God will make a way for her heart desire. Let her be patient. And he prayed for her. After praying for her, Pastor Ken she still told me that as she's going like that, a lot of things will change. And so I said... Drastic, miraculous things. And I felt so in my spirit. I'm glad I was there. Sorry that I'm just like, not getting just a okay, just few minutes. I felt so strongly about a young lady. Prior to this testimony, Venice had called me, there was a major distress. One young woman wanted to take her abroad. You know this thing of taking girls abroad now? You know the, the, the outcome, right? Mm -hmm. Prostitution, right? Yeah. Venice was so disturbed by that, and it's dangerous when your junior sister is no longer talking with you. After sharing an idea, because she feels will stop the idea, and it's going ahead with making the preparation. Let me be very direct with you. The prayer was that God frustrate this plan from happening. And prayer was answered. My heart was never at peace. And after that, the communication between the lady and this young and uh, and Benny's junior sister ceased. So was it really about her? <laughs> Many of our young ladies are in desperation to the extent they are not capable of doing just anything. Especially this whole thing of going abroad. We have to be careful. I keep saying here, yeah, sometimes you love at this like fun. We are making abroad here. You have no idea nationals that will be traveling to this country and to this church will be the city. Two, three, four, five. Clap, come on now. So that when they come, they stay in those cities and stay there and enjoy God's presence. Okay, go ahead, Venice. So she went back. As she went back to Douala, uh, she told me that she just called me of recent. She told me that as she went back to Douala, mm -hmm. there's this uh, lady from Germany. It's another lady from Germany that sent her a request. It's like she's attracted to ladies. So, <laughs> on, online? Yes, okay. on Facebook. So the woman has been communicating with her, talking with her. They have just been discussing. Each time the woman comes and asks her certain things, she'll be, mm -hmm. they will be discussing. Mm -hmm. So the woman one day got up and asked her that, what does she want to do? She said that she wants to go back to school or learn deco. But presently, she's working with Supermom Company in Douala. But if she, she does not have someone, if she leaves the company, she does not have someone who will sponsor her. So the woman told her that, okay, she'll see what to do. So, it's, well, I don't know, it's two weeks back, the woman came and told her that, let her, uh, let her go and look for a deco place that she Learn the deco that she will pay, she's going to pay. She told the woman that no, even if she's going to pay, uh, she'll, she 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 don't, she don't know how she'll be paying her house rent and all mm -hmm. other things. Okay, so the woman offered to help yes. and pay for the deco, uh, the deco work, everything. Yes. This woman in question is what, what national is she? She's she a German, yes, yeah, she's a Cameroonian. Okay, from where? Cameroonian, from I'm sure it's Bayern. Okay. Yeah, she said well, are they, they have an establishment in town in, in the country here? Yeah? yeah, in India. Okay. Yeah, so are you hearing that? Mm -hmm. So it's like genuine heavy theory. Because it can be scary, right? Mm -hmm. Someone just writes you on Facebook, you become friends, they get fascinated by perhaps what you're doing, the activities, and they begin to ask you questions and just offer to help you, you think it's a joke. Okay. Go ahead. So when the woman told her like that, she she was afraid to tell me, but I don't know. Because big, that big, sister, big, big sister will deny again. 
between that day i noticed i don't know i just i just noticed something about her I went and text her that is she okay? She said yeah. I said I feel like something is not okay. Are you hiding something from me? She said yes, there's something she wants to tell me, but she's afraid. I said no, let her take, feel free. Mm -hmm. She told me about the woman. I said okay, if the woman wants to help you, tell the woman that she should get in contact with any of your family member and talk with them. Mm -hmm. So that at least let's be accountability. Let me you let know. me know that the person is let me know the kind of person she is. Mm -hmm. She said okay, she went and told the woman. The woman came and, and gave her the, the woman my address on Facebook. The woman came and write she, she wrote to me. She wrote to me now. I replied. I asked her certain questions. I asked her that first of all, is she married? She said yes, she's married with one kid and she's staying with the husband there in Germany. Mm -hmm. And I asked her that what is her intention of helping my sister because I know she does not know my sister. Yeah, does and know. that's a critical intelligent question also. You should do the same. People become so desperate to excel. Any little thing they see as help, they just want to go for it. They don't think again. Uh -huh. When I told her, she said no, she does not want, she's not helping my sister for any reason. She just liked her, when she saw her profile picture, she just liked her and she's helping her because they have been communicating and she, she knows the concerns. Okay. So she's just helping her like a daughter and like uh -huh. a younger sister. Yes. And she went further telling me that when she, if she wants to pay, let me also help my younger sister by advising her to keep away from certain friends and focus on it the decor thing because she feels like my younger sister is still small and the friends she's making she has been studying her status the friends she's keeping she's not happy about it i said okay go ahead yes. and yesterday she came and wrote me she texted me in the evening that by the end of this month she'll send the money because she asked me to go and she told me to personally go and find out about the decor ask everything and the house when i went and find out the woman for the decor set is everything is 335,000 and the house they will pay eight months money is 15,000 so all together it should be 455,000 so I told her I gave her the feedback she said by more this end of month she send the money let me go and do it and she's uh, hoping on me to try my best and see that my sister will be focused with the work so I really want to thank God for that